If you gain a person's trust, they are likely to want to spend more time with you. So if you can read how a person is feeling, this will allow you to adjust your communication and give a strong impression of your empathetic nature. This will boost your credibility, generate that trust and give you a huge advantage in your relationship with that person to show the side of you that's caring, that really understands what's going on and that you can respond to precisely what they're feeling. So let's begin the process of sharpening this skill. Hi, I'm Mike Lally of KnowYourMind.com. Welcome to part 15 of how to use face reading to gain a quick and accurate insight into how a person is feeling and what makes them tick. Now the face has a language all of its own. And this language operates at breakneck speed. You send and receive facial signals in the blink of an eye. Now you can tell what a person is feeling and how a person is feeling from their face, but not what caused the emotion. If you want to enjoy the benefits of making a fantastic impression and first impression, then learn to read what a person is saying without them uttering a single word. Now here are some questions for you to consider. How can you easily decode what another person's face is revealing so you can get an insight into what they are thinking? How can you read a face in a given moment so you know what emotional state a person is feeling right now? How do you take control of your own secret signals? And how can you look confident even when you're not feeling it? Perhaps the most reliable the least purposely used aspect of nonverbal communication are the facial expressions that we are hardwired to generate to expose how we feel. Now the difficulty in reading these signals can simply lie in the speed at which these expressions take form. They literally flash across the face in microseconds, but they're there, they're almost always there. Now the difficulty in reading these signals is not simply because of their spectacular speed, but because this innate ability to read them is generally neglected. We simply fail to pay attention. We are too busy in our own heads. So even though we are hardwired to read many of these signals, we simply ignore how to detect the less overt emotional expressions. Now it's said that we have seven universal emotions from birth and they're all registered on the face. So pause, take a look and have a go. So we have instant access to anger, fear, sadness, surprise, disgust, contempt and happiness. Now by reconnecting with facial expressions, you will be able to read these signals more accurately, quicker and get a huge benefit. The starting point is to revisit these seven emotions. So how do we detect whether these emotions are present? Now incidentally, anger, fear and sadness are powerful negative emotions. And during childhood, if we experience one of these emotions, and if it's a significant emotional experience, they can leave a mental, emotional and spiritual scar. Now obviously when we're quite young, at such a tender age, we really don't have the ability, the capacity, to deal with such an emotional experience. But it's best not to leave them unchecked because they can cause problems going forward. So let's get back to the seven emotions. So anger is the easiest and quickest emotion to pick out. Now here are the prominent features of anger. Eyebrows drawn together and lowered. The brows are furrowed, the brows get lower. Upper eyelid lowers, the gaze becomes intense, lower eyelid tenses, the nostrils flare, you see an open square mouth with lips tightly pressed together. Now fear. Fear is registered by anxiety or agitation, by the presence of imminent danger, and fear often follows surprise. So take a look. Eyebrows are raised, eyebrows are drawn together, eyes are open wide, upper eyelid rises up, whites of the eyes are clearly seen, and lower eyelids are tensed, lips are stretched back, parted, and tense. Now sadness. Sadness does not give up easily. Once in this state, 
it can take a huge effort to pull out of it. Let's take a look. The forehead is wrinkled with grief. The inner eyebrows are raised and there's horizontal lines across the forehead. Also eyelids droop. Corners of the mouth are also turned down. You can have raised lower eyelids. Now surprise. Surprise is a super quick emotion. It flickers across the face really quickly. Obviously it's the result of something unanticipated. If the surprise is pleasant, it will likely be followed by a smile. If it's unpleasant, you may feel fear. Here are the features of surprise. The eyebrows curve and rise up. The eyes are wide open, the lower jaw drops, the whites of the eyes are clearly visible, the upper eyelids go up, wrinkles appear across the forehead and the mouth opens and the lips part. Now disgust and contempt are very similar facial expressions. The difference is that contempt does not have a physical revulsion. Now if you see someone experiencing disgust, your mirror neurons will fire up and match it. Whether you feel it or see it, the result is the same. Here are the clearer features of these emotions. The forehead is relaxed, the eyebrows are lowered, the upper part of the nose is wrinkled, and one lip often raised in a sneer. The eyes are squeezed almost shut, and the upper lip is raised. You have a tight mouth with slightly raised corners. Now happiness. What could be nicer than seeing a genuinely happy face? So smile as you take a look. The forehead is relaxed. It's a smiling face, possibly with dimples. The outer ends of the eyes are slightly pulled down and the eyes are crinkled at the corners known as crow's feet. You have raised cheeks and the corners of the mouth are turned up with the lips slightly parted and the top teeth are displayed. Sometimes you need to be careful when reading faces because if a person wants to hide their feelings, hide their emotions, they will use their face rather than their body. It's easier to detect through their body if they're doing this. Take a look. Many people prefer to control their emotions and use their face to do this. People will force a smile often through gritted teeth and parents will hide grief and sadness from their children. People suffering from sadness or related illness often put out a brave face. Because some people attempt to disguise their emotions using their face, we need to add in some more signals so we can really detect what emotion they are genuinely feeling. So more about this as we go along. So that completes this part. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. If you can, visit my website knowyourmind.com, my blog, mikelally.com. Also, if you could, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for that. Keep in mind, you have many faces. Let's put them to use. Let's, during a daily conversation, stop for a moment, just pause, and see if you can read the expressions, the, the emotions that a person is feeling. Not just the obvious emotions, but the less overt emotions. And the more you do this, the more accomplished you will become at reading what's going on, have that empathetic nature and develop a real strong relationship and a bond with a person. Now be mindful, the face says, this is who I am. So until next time, take care. Cheerio for now.